Did you know that you could use Adobe Illustrator on your iPad? Yes, you can. I know this is no fresh news, but yet we never talked about it on my channel, so it's kind of new for us on here. So as you can already guess, today we are going to learn how to use Adobe Illustrator on an iPad Pro. I think there is no better way to learn something than by making a real project. So, to start getting familiar with Adobe Illustrator on the iPad, we are going to create a mood board. And so we are going to use a lot of different tools that we will learn along the way. Okay, without further ado, let's take our iPad, let's open Adobe Illustrator and let's start by setting up our document. Okay, so here I am in Adobe Illustrator. So when you um, end up on the app, it says start something new and you have different uh, uh, thing on the side, like uh, some tutorials, some discovery, uh, some uh, live stream from behind and when you go to home you'll have your recent project as well as you know the way to start a new project you can do custom size or your size and my size is 1080 by 1080 RGB so let's do custom size for you to see so you can name your file let's name our file and then you can change the unit so you can do pixels inches centimeters millimeters meters doesn't matter okay um, pixels um, I'm going to use pixel, I do 1080 by 1080, so it's a square. Uh, I only want one artboard, you can choose multiple artboard if you'd like, and you can decide the color mode, RGB, CMYK. Since this is going to be only online, we are, we are going to use the RGB mode. And then you just click on create file. Once you created your file, you are inside the Illustrator um, App with all the tools around. So know that not all the tools from Adobe Illustrator on desktop is available on the iPad yet. I believe they're still working on it to make this app as uh, nearly close as possible as the desktop one or whatever, like it still um, have some work to do, but yet we can do the basics and make really cool vector things on Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. Anyways, let's start by looking at both of our tools bar. So we have one on the left with the selection tool, direct selection tool, pen, pencil and brush. So we have the eraser, the shape, uh, we have a text and we can add uh, other artboard and all picture. So we can import from camera, photos, file, cloud, documents and all. And then we have the colors and the strokes. All right. Now on the other side, you will find your layers, your properties, some guides so you can snap to grid, snap to guides, add a grid, take off a grid, whatever. Uh, you will have the pathfinder, the scissor, so edit, you can copy appearance, pass, whatever. You have the alignment tool, the object tool, so you can expand, group, clipping mice and all. You will have outline text or type on text or whatever, some are more uh, text uh, tools and you will also have more edit uh, your path when you use the pencil, the brush or the pen tool and any path that you are uh, drawing on your artboard, you will be able to edit it and then you'll get the repeat. So today we are going to create a mood board. So we're going to start by adding a shape. So how to add a shape on Adobe Illustrator on the iPad? Well, let's go into our shape tool here and we're already on the square and this is the square that we want. And we are going to take the entire artboard. So here it already works. Can you see the little circle here on the side? This is your shift uh, button on your keyboard. And since we don't have any keyboard on the iPad, they created the shift button. So if you're holding the shift while you are uh, actually making a shape, it does the same as on the computer and make this shape a square. If you are not using the shift, you could um, transform your shape however you'd like. So let's make sure that uh, our shape align to our artboard. So those little point on the side, you can use your Apple Pencil or you can use your fingers, takes the entire artboard. And I'm gonna change the color just because I want to see that since my artboard is white, if I move, if I move my shape, I can make the difference. Anyways, on the top, you can undo, 
but on the iPad, if you do two fingers, you undo. If you do three, you redo. You can tell that when I click on the shape, I have more options that are coming. On the bottom, you see the transparency, change the opacity, and you have the stroke, the wideness of the stroke, so you can make a big stroke or no stroke at all. Then you have the stacking order. And so if you have multiple things on the artboard, you can be like, okay, I want, um, well, we're gonna use it and I'll give you an example, but basically where you want things to be in front of the other. You have the move tool. So if you click on that, you can move your artboard. You can lock so it doesn't go anywhere or you can group and duplicate or trash. That for um, more options and we just made our first shape. So for my mood board, I love to use a texture to add uh, as a background. So we're going to learn to do two things right now. We're going to learn to add an uh, image to our artboard and we're going to learn how to uh, use the stacking order, then make a clipping mask. First, if you want a really cool texture, you can find them on Pexels, Unsplash, Pixabay. This is the free options. And if you want other options that are paid options, you can check Envanto Element. This is where I find all of my photos, texture, stock videos, mockups, fonts, and all. So yeah, check it out. Uh, I'll leave a link uh, with all the resources I just told you guys. So anyways, so I found this one on Envanto Element. This is like a paper one, paper filling uh, texture background. So you're going to go into imi image under the uh, artboard and you're going to go into photos and choose your texture. So here my texture is on the top of the square. I want to fill the entire square, like the entire artboard. So I will either change the proportion uh, on high or like the total amount. So it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna do like this and move it that it fills it all. You can align if you want, so it's going to align to the artboard. And now we're going to use the stacking order I was talking about. So open the stacking order and you know that you want this texture to be underneath the square. This is how we're going to make a clipping mask. So you're going to take that little point here and you're going to drag down. That means the texture goes behind. If you drag up, it goes above. So we want behind it. Now, your texture is still selected. So click on your shift button and stay on it, hold it and select your square. Now, both of them are selected. And this is where we're going on the side in between the outline option and the alignment you will find your object. And here you can do a clipping mask. You can make a clipping mask. So make clipping mask. And now the texture and is inside that shape that we've created. So we are learn how to make a shape, uh, use um, the stacking order, put an image and made a clipping mask. So that's pretty cool. Now we have our shape. I mean, we have our background. So now we are going to um, obviously create more shape and do more clipping mask for our mood board. So you're going back into the shape and from here you can start making square. So I want my square to be um, have good proportion. So I have to hold my shift and I just drag and make one. Then I'm going to use the duplicate option. So I'm going to duplicate this shape and move it. And then I'm going to do it again. Then I'm going to hold the shift and click on all my shapes. And I'm going to duplicate all three and move them. Here we are. So now we're going to use grouping. So I still have those three shapes selected, but I want to select six of them. So I'm going to select all of them holding the shift button. And here on the bottom, beside the lock, you have the square with two square inside. That's grouping. All of the things are one thing. So I had six square. Now I have one group of the six square. And I want to put those six squares in the middle. So I'm going to use the alignment tool and I want them to be centered and centered on both sides. Okay, so apparently they are. So now I'm going to ungroup them. And as you can see, they're not really even. There's one with above. So we're going to try to, they look like they're aligned. So now to make sure they are facing between each other, like the same amount of space, I'm going to click Alt Shift. And in my alignment tool, I'm going to go into the distribute and see, I tap on the, there's this one and that one. I tap on the one with two line and a rectangle in the middle. That's the, sh the space. We're going to do the same with those. Alt Shift, alignment, distribute, there you go. And now they're all equal. So we have 
six square. Now we're going to make some other square for, or like maybe, now let's make some rectangle. So you're still going to use your square tool, square shape tool, and now you're going to make rectangle. So let's make one. So I didn't uh, click on shift as you saw, so I can make the shape I wanted. I'm going to duplicate it and bring it over here. And I'm going to make two more or like four more, I'll say. So same. So now we are going to make more clipping mask by adding images, put them behind those six square and make a clipping mask. So let's do this. So I'm gonna add photos that I found on pixels. So let's try about this one. I will resize it for it to like be almost the same size as my square. Here you go. So I'm gonna use the stack down, hold both and make a mask. Now let's do another one and let's keep going like this. You've tamed the voices in your head. You've put your courage to the test. Laid all your doubts to rest. Your mind is clearer than before. Your heart is full and wanting more. Your future's at the door. Give it all you got. Okay, so the last thing we need to do after we did all our clipping masks is to add colors to our mood board. So the next lesson is how we use the color picker to pick some color into the picture we just added and make a really cool color palette for the mood board. All right, let's get right into it. As you see, we already have our pictures and we're really happy with it. And so now we need to um, add different colors to our little rectangles we have above those pictures. So we're going to select the rectangle that we want um, to change the color of. We're going to go into the color and on the top of the color wheel you have a eye drop. So you click on it and it's going to bring this color picker. So here we are. So now you can only uh, you can choose whatever color you would like to add to your mood board. I'm going to go with this orange. Next, same eyedropper tool. And we're going to find maybe a brown. Okay. And you keep going like this until you find all the color of your choice. And there you go. Just like this, you created an amazing, really cute minimalist mood board on Adobe Illustrator and you learned some really cool tools. So if you'd like to, to learn more about Adobe Illustrator and how to use those tools on the iPad, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video. That means that you actually learned something today. I will make more videos about it since we have so much more to learn uh, on the iPad. This is uh, so much fun. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video guys i cannot wait to see you in the next one and yeah until next time take care thank you for watching